Cyclone Umpun is an absolute destructive storm system right now. This is a Category 5 on the Saffron Simpson scale, being rated a super cyclonic storm by the India Meteorological Department. Which, by the way, it is the first time since 1999 we had a super cyclonic storm in the Bay of Bengal. Landfall is still expected in West Bengal through Bangladesh on Wednesday, according to the India Meteorological Department. And just the number one thing I want you to take away from this update, this is a dangerous storm system. And I, I can't stress that enough. If you are ahead of this storm, if you know anybody ahead of this, evacuate. I mean, just get out of the way. I know we have an ongoing pandemic. People are worried about travel, but they're really, you have to way cost versus benefit and anybody ahead of this storm it is going to be a very dangerous one look at the latest warning from the joint typhoon warning center uh winds right now 145 gusting to 175 knots and they expect it to continue to intensify up to 150 knots now to put this in perspective a category five storm system starts at 137 knots they're expecting this to have sustained winds up to 150 knots so this is not a minimum category five this would be the higher end of the scale we're talking about the equivalent of like high on uh in the western pacific so um this storm is gonna be packing damaging winds uh a destructive uh storm surge especially along the coast now the good news it will weaken a little bit before making landfall but i mean going from a high-end category five to maybe a category four before landfall this is just destructive there's that inner core the inner eye wall on morph microwave imagery and i like to show this because it really gives you an idea so those winds of 150 knots sustained are in that center but there is an eye wall replacement cycle going on so kind of that strongest winds extending away from the center and whenever we get a eye wall replacement cycle storm weakens a little bit but then it re-intensifies and thus the joint typhoon Warning Center, as well as the India Meteorological Department, expects this strengthening for the next 24 hours before a slight weakening just prior to landfall. Uh, biggest issue, though, West Bengal, Bangladesh, really this border area here is prone to storm surge. I mean, anytime we get a storm, the, the sea level, the land, I should say, it's only a few feet above sea level across this entire delta here i want to show you right now is what one of the models are kind of indicating here this is the hwrf and what this does show you is kind of the four panel here the top left you have winds top right moisture bottom left you have uh the pressure and then bottom right you have the composite here as far as the radar is concerned this is straight up on landfall as we go ahead throughout the day on wednesday here right around the bangladesh west bengal area um the right front quadrant that's the area we're most concerned about right and when you get that moisture on flow not the moisture but the forward motion of the storm as well as the destructive winds which gusting at this time still at category five gust that really could cause this entire area this entire swath uh to look at some flooding do remember the bowl of cyclone back in 1970 took place in this area now has warnings and has the geopolitical situation of the area improved since 1970 oh yes yeah. since 1999 the odisha cyclone killed 15,000 people a little bit further west but the situation has dramatically improved since then the warnings have i mean we just saw a couple of years ago a cyclone came on shore a very strong one only had like two deaths when you compare previous storms to this current one it is not apples the apples that aside, <laughs> this is still a dangerous storm and absolutely incredible how intense this is. The width of it, the moisture inflow coming in around this storm. Actually, there's another image I want to show you before I kind of sign off on this update. That is the moisture across the entire Indian Ocean here and how just the, it's kind of enhancing or trying to kick up the monsoon, but it, it really is pulling in all of these warm waters uh, across the Indian Ocean into the Bay of Bengal. And this is just fuel for the fire. It is like tossing kerosene on a bonfire, maybe along with some gasoline and some highly proofed alcohol, and you get this explosion. That is what's happening out here. It is a dangerous storm, and I really do wish my the best for everybody ahead of this. Anyways, um, I just wanted to do a quick update on this. I hope everybody uh, watching this found it useful. I 
usually cover storms in the western Pacific, but I figured this is such a big storm. Uh, why not uh, talk about it at least? Of course, the India Meteorological Department, there are plenty of other people in India and over towards Bangladesh, YouTubers as well, who are much more versed in the storms in this area, but I want to lend a little bit of my expertise. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know down in the comment box below. And as always, stay safe out there, guys.